So let's do a little okay. biceps. Yeah, let's do that. So you're known for your arms, Tony. So we're going to do standing dumbbell curls. Okay. Let's maybe start. How much do you normally use? Well, I'll, I'll, whatever I use, I'll take it down. Let's get a... 25s, okay. Let's we'll see how I go. So show, me, show me your form. Okay. So I'm going to change it completely. If that's, okay. If that's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're going to turn, turn it like this. And the first thing I want you to do is position yourself with the elbows in front of you. Okay. Right. They're going to stay there. Now I'm going to curl it all the way up to your chin and lift up. Now see how you have the weight sitting on your body like this? Yeah. I want you to pretend it's a barbell. Okay. And now the barbell is going to be way out there. Okay. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to lift up. And then when you go to the bottom, I want a full extension. I want you to fully open up that bicep. Curl it up. And check your wrist once again. Wrist, uh-huh. Now, as you lower the weight, I got to do it. Okay. And I'll do it with you. I'll put this. Oh, you're going to do it with me? Oh, no. So, this is what you want to do. This is your start position in front of you. You're going to curl up. So, what, I, what do I want to do? I want to peak my bicep at the top. So how do I get the peak of the bicep if I don't come up to here? You see the peak? Yeah, I can. If I don't come up That's there, a peak. there's no peak. <laughs> so I'm here, I lean in. The reason I'm leaning in subtle, very subtle, to take the pressure off my lower back. And then I curl up, I come all the way up, I contract, I come down, I lean in, full extension, contract, lean in, just like that. Notice how I'm keeping my elbows tight to my body. Yeah. There's no space there. As I lower the weight, one of my tricks, I soften my grip. I soften the grip so my forearms don't get it. Okay. So back up again. You notice where my head's at? I got my head down or in neutral. Never doing this. Always here. Okay, so good point to ask this question because we did the last video, we talked about drag curls and there was still okay. some conversation about this. So, so explain then, like, so if, say for example we're doing a drag curl, okay. what, what, to kind of give an example, what's the drag curl not doing that this is doing? What the drag curl is doing is, is working your shoulders, your back and your traps. Okay. You're not exposing your bicep. Why we do why we do this bench press here then? Throw this thing out of the gym then. Who created that? Drag curl, you don't look what am I what do you see? Yeah, right. Right, so you got kind of more rear. Yeah, well, right, yeah. I can that's what I can. There's your drag curl. Okay. So how do you get a peak on your biceps doing that? The only way you get a peak is putting it out in front of you. Okay. That's how the peak comes. That makes sense to okay, me. Okay, very quickly here. There's my peak. Yes. It's out front. <laughs> no drag curl here. <laughs> this is the real thing. How do you get the peak? <laughs> you got a close up on that. <laughs> right? I can't argue with that. <laughs> That's how you get the peak. Now, as I lower the weight, I come up and I soften my grip. I don't open my hand, I just soften the grip so there's no pressure here. Okay. All the pressure is here now. Okay. If you squeeze, if you have a deft grip on the bar, your forearm's gonna start to hurt. Yeah. And the wrist. I see it, they get to the top and they curl their wrist. Then they go to the bottom, they turn it this way. And okay. then they turn, no, straight. It's straight here and straight at the top. So when you're, when you're coming down then, letting go of the grip is, is still keeping the tension on the yeah. bicep? Straight. Okay. And the tension's here there. Soften the grip just a little bit. Don't open the hand, just soften it. Just soften it, right, yes. okay. Right? Okay, let's try that. So let's do that. I'm gonna start with the 20s. Okay. So sets of 10 to 12 reps, which is normal. Maybe three or four sets. That wrist straight is so important. Okay, so as you lift up, okay, I'm gonna get you up here. There is your peak. There is your peak, right? Can okay. you feel that top? I can. That's your focus point. Check the wrist, see how, see how it dropped again? Bad habit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm with you. Straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go up with you. So as you pull, I want you to come up and I want you to turn your wrists out like this. Like that? Yes. Just your wrist. It's very subtle. Okay. Okay. So come down. Lean in. Lean in a little bit. Open up completely. 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 Now curl that. Wrist straight. Yeah. As you pull, your wrist is turning outward. Stand up straight, stand up straight. Yes. Do it again, lean in. All the way down, full extension. Back up, wrists. Good. Good. 
Good. I'm gonna push you out there. Ah, that's where I want it. I just pushed you out. Stay out there. Stay out there. Yes. So, okay. you just got to the good spot. Okay. okay. I'm gonna drop the weight. Just okay. To okay. Kind of get the movement. <laughs> we just we just got to the real deal. That was the real. I get the movement first, then I add the weight on because it's way more difficult than I thought. Wrist straight. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, wrist straight at all times is so critical. Okay. So now, see how you're resting here? Yeah. Always to your side. It's a barbell. Pretend like okay. it's a barbell. Gonna come up. Beautiful. That's what I want. Lean in a little bit. Wrist straight. Check. Keep checking that wrist. It's dropping. It's dropping. Mm -hmm. Come on up. Stand up straight. Where's the twist? Mmm. That twist. When you twist at the top, that bicep really contracts on the inside. Yeah, I can feel it. So non-stop. Here we go. Check your wrist. Keep your dumbbells to your side. See? Open up, open up, open up. Yes, stay out there, stay out there. Good. Here we go. Lift up, non-stop. Uh-uh, lift up, lift up. Yes, yes, elbows up, yes. Wrist straight. That's difficult, man. <laughs> Let me do one. You do, that's, Where it me? feels difficult. We're about, what, here we go. So. People laugh at me all the time, but let them laugh, I don't care. So notice my wrist straight. Yeah, that takes a bit of practice for me because I'm obviously used to not keeping it straight. And then when I get to the top, I'm actually turning my wrist out to really contract the inside of my bicep. Yeah, like I can feel that. Right. And I've just been playing around with it. Yes. <laughs> so when I pull up, the elbows, my body, look at the elbows. So tight to my body. There is no space between my, you see the no space? Yeah. Completely closed. And then I turn the wrists. You see yeah. what I mean? Anytime you got space here, your shoulder's getting it. So this, this is tight, this is in, wrist is turning out. So it's inside. kind of almost like a single arm concentration curl, but with two arms. Yes. Yes. Wrist straight. Okay, here we go. Wrist? That's it. You're right. To the side. Uh-uh. We're just going to start side. position. Full extension. Mm -hmm. Wrist straight. That's it. That's it. That's good. Now lean in. Then as you pull, you stand straight up. Yes. Lean back in. There's a rhythm. You stand straight up. Yes. I like that twist. Keep checking the right wrist. Stand up straight. Here we go. Good. Lean in. Open it up. Open it up. You can feel it. Stand up straight. Yes. Lift the elbows up. Stand up straight. Stand big. Stand big. Good. There you go. That was a good one. Now nah, that's a good one. One more. One more. Lean in. Keep that wrist straight. I'm checking your wrist. I can see it from here. Stand up straight. No, 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 no. Never stop. That's where it counts. Yes. Yes. Go past the pain. Go past the pain. Doesn't matter. Lift up. Lift up. Good. Yes. Woo. Nice stretch. Last one. Lift up. Lift up. Elbows. Good set. Done. <laughs> hey, yeah, it, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> But I can, honestly, I've been, you know, playing around with some 17 pounders. Mm -hmm. um, but I can honestly say I really feel that it's very difficult to to do that. Normally I would be here, yes, and yes. you know I'd be kind of like throwing them up. You know, yes. this is yes, um, and that's 35s. I could probably go all the way up. I'm down to the 17s, um, <laughs> but I feel it much you more. Really feel that, right? Yeah, I think it takes a bit of kind of training your, yeah. the movement to get into it. True, true. But I, I do feel like I can see like the peak Traction. on your bicep. I, I can see why you'd probably get a very different result yeah. by doing that. With less weight. And then building back up again right. once you've got the movement. Yes. But yes. the movement takes a bit of practice. Uh, it does, it does. I feel it does. It it's does. made me look very stupid. Yes. <laughs> I was doing this once and this guy down here, he was doing like 65. Yeah. He comes over and he goes, Look at your biceps, you're really cut. And he goes, how much weight? I goes, 30s. He goes, 30s? He started laughing at me. Well, I, I did, uh, I interviewed a guy who talked about Vince Gironda and he said about holding like a pencil. Mm -hmm. um, 
and, and doing it like you would hold a pen, which kind of resembles it. It's like, yeah, okay, what if you can do the dumbbell like you hold a pencil right. Right. and move in the same way? Exactly, with that little, that little twist at the end. is twist. really twist. So back to the drag curl. Guys, if you want a peak in your bicep, <laughs> you gotta peak the bicep. That means you gotta get the bicep away from your body to get that peak. Well, maybe, maybe another way is once you've got a peak like that, then go back to the drag curls if you still want. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good, then it's okay. Yeah. You have the arm already. <laughs> that's right. When you have but the until arm. you've got a peak like that, just forget about the drag curls. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the bicep and the triceps should be balanced. There's two heads, three heads here. But when you flex, it should be in balance. That's okay. Balance. So you got this massive tricep and a weak bicep. That means it stands out more. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Let me try one more set just to okay. get it, just to master okay. this. Okay. Yes, so good. by uh -huh. the side. Yes. Excellent. That's it. Mm -hmm. Keep the wrist straight. Mm -hmm. Lean over. And stand up straight as you come up. That's it. And that wrist, wrist is gonna be, the wrist gonna be turning outward. Yes. That's it. Keep the wrist straight. And mentally you really focus on that upper bicep, the peak. As you stretch it out, the most important part here is contraction there. Yes. Yes. Nice lean, stand up straight. Good, good, good. Nice lean, here we go, here we go. All the way up. Yes. Two more, Keep check, out, check that wrist, check the wrist now. Lift up, lift up. One more, one more, one more. Good set. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you uh, when it starts, you can definitely also feel it very quickly when the, the tension comes off the bicep and it becomes too heavy. Yes. By like that last set, I could have arguably gone down to a 15. <laughs> right. And you still feel it. Because I could probably feel it more because I felt like it was just, I was struggling to keep you my couldn't form. You couldn't keep the contraction. I couldn't keep the contraction, That's yeah. That's right. Yes, yes. So now I'm down to 15 pound dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> the other trick here is that when I get to the top and I contract, I mean, I'm really contracting. I'm really putting everything I got into that contraction to really squeeze it and then control it, keeping the tension, keeping the tension, back up, same thing. So it never lose the tension. Soft grip on the way down. Yeah, but I, you, you, I can really feel it. I, I, that's quite amazing. Introducing the next big thing in functional training, the Escape Barrow, a revolutionary training tool that combines a loaded farmer's carry with a sled push to develop hip, grip, and core strength. Developed in partnership with Pete Holman, inventor of the TRX Rip Trainer and Nautilus Glute Drive, the Escape Barrow can be rolled, pushed, dragged and carried. The Escape Barrow packs a punch with an impressive load capacity of 440 pounds and with a two-stage galvanized paint covering process, it's also ideal for outdoor use. So head over to escapefitness.com forward slash barrow. That's escapefitness.com forward slash barrow to find out more. Enjoy the rest of this episode. So from here, let's go hammer curl really quick. Okay, so um, with, with two, yeah? Two, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna work the... So do you do both arms at the same both time? At the same time, gonna work the brachialis, that's good. And do it again. When you come up, come on, come up, that number should face the mirror like that. Oh, okay. And this uh, hit that, missed that shoulder about, a, about an inch, about, like, just like that. That's the goal. Gonna miss that shoulder. Elbows, that's it. And pull it from here, gonna contract. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is good. Now keep the elbows tight to your body as much as possible. Okay, that's it. Lift the numbers up. The numbers got a face, got to come all the way up. There it is. Because you're really putting it all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Lift the elbows, lift the elbows. That's good, one more. Up, 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 up. Cassette. Great. For this one then, what are you looking to? Brachialis. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, right. Uh -huh. So a bit along the side there. Uh-huh. Give the arm that three dimension. I'm sure that's done then, Tony. So it's the same thing. Nothing changed. Here, keeping the elbows in close. And then I'm gonna lean in just a little bit. 
keep my head down. Once I get to the top, I'm flexing that top. I go flex the top like a life depend on it. Squeeze. But you're not really holding it. You're just squeezing it for a second and you continue to move. But you're not pausing up there. Continue to move, lean in. I keep my head up. You know when people curl, what they do, they come up and they do this. Keep your head down. Don't use your traps. And what is, why, why do you want them to do that? Well, but then they curl in the barbell dumbbells and they're always doing this. Right. That means your traps are helping you. Okay. So it'll keep your head in neutral. I never raise up. I'm always here. So it's just I'm really going. focusing on yes. total isolation. Yes. All right. I'll do one more. I'm going to do the 15s to keep the okay. form. So start here. Uh -huh. Perfect. That's it. That lean is good. Very good. Number always face the mirror. That's good. Elbows in tight. When you lower the weight, really keep the tension, tension, tension. Uh -huh. Now pull. Yes. Tension, tension, tension. Do not lose the tension. Here we go. Pull. I want a full extension this time. You missed it. All the way down. All the way up. Now I'm going to face the mirror. Now I'm going to face the mirror. Okay, good. <laughs> I also had a shoulder injury, and when I do something, so I can feel the the weakness here somehow. You can't get the contraction. I think it was, I don't know whether I, I pulled my lat, yeah, when I, uh, okay. a long time ago. So okay. on the end reps, it seems to fail first here, but mm -hmm. maybe that's just a form thing. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm sort of relying on other muscles to get it up. Yes, uh, yes, complete isolation now. Is that what you would say? So if you, if you saw me at like at the end where my form went down, would, would you be coaching me and say, look, take it down one? Absolutely, drop the weight. Get it, get it so you're doing some perfect ones. Yes, Keep yes. doing it and then go to the next one. Yes, absolutely. Do you find with some of your clients that you have a, a bit of a wrestling match to kind of, I know with me it would be, but you're, are you sort of having to have a bit of a... They want to go heavy? Well, are they, they sort of like getting a little bit concerned about having to keep going down? They do, <laughs> they do, but I, I always say perfect form. Form first, weight yeah. comes later. You're gonna get stronger, you're gonna lift heavier. I'm not against it. Yeah. But the form has to be the same. Yeah. And then you start cheating and throwing weights up. No, no, yeah. no, no. A little bit of triceps? Yeah, let's do that because okay. uh, we had quite a few comments about your triceps, Tony, on the last video as well. Okay. <laughs> I prefer doing uh, using a rope. Now right. back in the old days, we always had the barbell, you know, the push downs. But then I found the rope works a lot better because it eliminates the forms. There's no forms involved. So what I see all the time. <laughs> It's people doing this, doing this. Okay. That means this is pushing the weight out there. It says push down. That means you got to push down. So what I do, I've got the bar very close, very close to my chest, the rope here, and I'm leaning in a little bit. You can have your head to either side, doesn't matter. And this is the lean all the way down. Now you want a full range of movement. How, how do I get the upper tricep? That means I gotta come all the way up without lifting my shoulders. So the shoulders are down, pushing it to the floor, and full extension, that's it. And then down. Once again, continuous, non-stop. We're not stopping, we're not stopping, flexing the upper tricep. So mentally, where am I? I'm focused on the upper tricep. I'm trying to build where it inserts at the top. So we kind of... Yes, yeah. I'm all the way. That's where my mind is the whole time. Wherever your mind goes within a, within an exercise, that's where the, the pressure is going to go. Okay. It's, it's thinking. You're always thinking. Where you, so no, to make it more challenging, catch it in the middle. Okay. And I want your hands on your chest completely. You're gonna push it straight to your shoes. Am I, is that right? Yes, but you're kind of doing this. I want okay. you to stand up straight and then lean in. Yes. All the way up. Perfect. And then at the bottom, am I kicking out or just straight just down? Straight down. I mean, you can really see that. This is really engaging. You feel that? Yeah. Perfect. Don't pause. Non stop, non stop, non stop. Come all the way up. Let the elbows go. Let them go. Yes. That's it. Great tricep, that's what I want, that's what I want. Come on up, you missed one, all the way up. Hands back on the chest, hands back on the chest, glue to the chest, 
Good. He's trying to push out. Push down. Yes. Stay in there tight. Stay in there tight. One more. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Hold it. Good set. So right away, we're going to turn. OK. We're going to go this way. Big step forward. Elbows in. We want a full stretch on the way back. I tell, I tell my clients, I want your forearm to touch your shoulder, which you can, but that's the idea. Coming all the way back and extend. Full range, just like that. So try that one. You know, no, that's, 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 that's easy. Let's catch the middle of the rope. Yes, now. Look at that stretch. This is a real stretch. You need that stretch. Perfect. That's it. Uh-huh, that's it, that's it. Good. Bring you up just a little bit. There. Just like that. You're here. You're here. Yes. Yes. Stretch all the way back. All the way back. Try to get the elbow to touch your shoulder. Yes. Full stretch. Now I want you to go back. I want you to pause and hold it. Then push. Every time you go back, pause. Back, go, 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 go. Back, hold it. Now push. Every time you go back. Hold it. One more. Can you go all the way back? All the way back. Hold it. Now push. Cause that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ooh. I can feel that. <laughs> and think, we weren't, we weren't doing a lot of... that's why I still enjoy this, because with such moderate weight, you get that pump. It's so crazy. I mean, that's and we like, didn't do that, not that heavy and not that many reps. You did two sets. Yeah. Look at that. So that just proves you don't need a lot of weight. It's just really about form, knowing where you're placing it and mentally putting it there. I'm not just doing the exercise. You're filming me, you see me doing it, but you don't know where my mind's at. I am in. I am into that muscle. I know exactly where it's going. You don't have like a laser. Right. And when you're at the top, I, that, when you kept saying pause, that did really kind of, you could feel it. Oh, it made you focus on it. That was yes. That's quite nice. Yes. On everything I do, I'm really mentally into that muscle to where I'm putting If I'm doing squats, in the middle of the set of squats, I'm thinking outer quads. Then I think inner quads. And then I think upper quads. As I'm doing the set, and where your mind goes, to where the pump goes. So there's a lot of this. The weight's on my back. I'm not concerned about the weight. It's moderate weight. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of reps, but I'm just changing as I go. Yeah. So people from the outside looking in go, wow, he's training light. <laughs> but they don't know what I'm doing up here. It looks like there's not a lot going on. But but, yes, but there's a lot going on. Okay. And then they go, how do you build your body like that, such light weights? And I go, try it. And I you know, make all the adjustments. They go, OK, it's, it's, it's getting heavy now, right? OK, so one more round. Okay. That was really good. So when you catch the rope here, it's, it's, it's like resting. Yeah, but I guess this, this forces you to really hold on. It does. Yes. It does, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it's a bit it's definitely easier to kind of rest on that than, yes. than to grip it. You're leaning too much. Stand up. That's it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't pause. It's non-stop, non-stop. That's right. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Don't wait down there. Just find your rhythm and go. You Stand up a little bit more and bring this back to your chest. You're turning it this way, just go straight down. Yes, yes. Yes, straight down. Three more. One. Awesome. Good set. I can feel so, that burning. To make this really crazy, so I do all kind of crazy stuff. I would do that okay. and then directly come over here. So back in the day, we would have the bench here. We have two big plates in our laps, <laughs> you know, when you're young. Yeah. Now I do it with my body weight. So you hold on here and you come down and you push up like that. Okay. What I see all the time, ladies and gentlemen, is this. And they drop the hips to the floor and they're just bouncing. There's nothing there. Okay. When you push up, you want to push back into the to the arm if i go down here and i do this that's my chest and shoulders i want to go down and i want to push back okay so just here we go here and there just halfway down yes i'm squeezing the bench with my hand i'm holding on tight he's nosing my head down once again i'm pushing on the inside of my tricep 
And as I come up, I'm leaning back into it. I'm pushing all my body weight back onto my triceps. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so here. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's it. Lean your body back into it. Come down halfway. That's all you really need. It's good. Do me a favor, turn your elbows in. Ah. Turn them in more. Inside tricep. Here's your target. Mentally, you're locked in. Slow down, you're rushing. One at a time, one at a time. Slow. That's it. Lean back. <laughs> Yeah, I can so feel that. So when you turn out, that was your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel that inside of that tricep now. Yes, and you want to develop that. <laughs> so when you train a tricep, that's the target. That's uh, Bicep, right. that's the target. When you hit above a bicep pose, what do you, you see the inside. So everything I do is really working at inside. And I do the shot inside. So, you know, you have a vision of what you want to look like, what you want to show the judges. Yeah. You know, so that's what you work on. I got it from Frank. He, he's creative. <laughs> you do upside down rowing and crazy stuff. But when he flexes, like, whoa, where did it come from? This is the piece of clay and you're molding and you're chiseling it, right? Okay, so now what about a little bit of shoulders? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got something here. You can do it seated or standing. So the Arnold's press is gonna be here. You're gonna push up. You're gonna rotate. You're gonna come down. What you don't, I see this all the time. They go up, but then they come out here. You don't go out. It's, it's, it's a straight press up, down, here, here, here. And the other problem is when they come down, they come all the way down to here. So now you took the pressure off your chest, off, the off the shoulders, correct? Yeah. Because you're down here. You're going to push up. You're going to stop it there. So the tension stays on that shoulder. Turn, continuous tension, rotate. I'm not going out. As you notice, my elbows are coming in, I'm forcing them in, and then turning. Yes, it's hitting all three heads, and it starts to burn really quick. <laughs> now, if I want to rest, I'll come down here. So try that. Okay. See how you're sitting out here? Uh -uh, follow me. Come down here. Elbows in. Where's the elbows? And go straight up. All right. And then turn it here, and you're back. They don't go outside at all. They go up, turn, back. Still going out. Rotate, turn, 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 turn. The elbows back in. Turn the elbows back in. So you're heavier on my shoulder. Go lighter. Yeah. Seven and a half. Okay. It's a great exercise. It's just that they take the pressure off of it. Rotate, rotate, turn. Back in. Real tight, real tight, real tight. Exactly. Stay in there tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Good. Now when you push up, you gotta push back over your head to hit that rear delt. So this is starting out, this is front delt. The elbows do not go out. They, this is a straight line. Right on your chest, right on your chest. It's a tough move. Right? <laughs> That's the proper way of doing an Arnold's press. Right. They come up and they come out here, and then they come all the way down here. So it's like a boxer throwing a punch, straight up. He throws that punch. Boom. There's the punch. He never comes out here. Yeah, it's very tough to, to isolate like that, even with, you know, you, you can't really put a lot of weight at all on there. No, you cannot. No. Uh, <laughs> but it's a good move because it hits all three It's heads. very, yeah, it yes. really isolates uh, the chest. Yeah, okay, I'll try that again. So my version of that, <laughs> I just want to throw that in there, is the, um, go lighter, <laughs> get crazy here. So I, I'm doing this one now. You know, here, press, turn, and that's it. I'm trying to keep my wrist straight. I'm pressing halfway. I come down, I rotate all the way in, and then I push back as much as I can to get that rear delt. The rear delt's in now. I'm gonna press halfway, stop, come back in. The hard part is to keep the elbows up. You wanna drop, nope, yeah. stay up. Here, press, here, turn, control, no rush. Don't speed up, short range and it really gets quick. <laughs> oh man, it gets that quick. It's not called the Pearson press. <laughs> yeah, right? We're starting here. Yeah. start, uh-huh. Half press, rotate, exactly. And where does no, this, no, no. oh, just stay here? Come together, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Straighten out your wrist. 
wrist, wrist. Aha. Rotate, rotate in. Now push all the way back to me. Rear delt, there it is. Press, halfway. Oh, halfway, okay. Uh -huh. Rotate, keep the elbows up. You're good. Back to me. There. Rotate in, all the way in. You gotta come back harder. Bring it on back. Come on. There. Put it back here. Rotate, elbows up. Non-stop, here we go. All the way back. Non-stop, here we go. Now you just found your rhythm. You just got in, you just got into it. Don't full extend. Halfway. Rotate. That's, uh, I like that. I, well, I think I do. <laughs> it take, it's, again, it take, it's, a, it's a technique move, isn't it? Yeah, it's a technique move, yes. Um, yes. Uh, but I can, I suppose the shoulders are relative, well, the, the heads on the shoulder are relatively small. Yes. And I suppose, so, so what are your thoughts like with a, let's say a kind of heavy front or rear shoulder press? Like, because you can put a lot of weight on there, like where, you, where this is, this is very, like you, you've got a lot of isolation going on, mm -hmm. but very difficult to do it with a lot of weight. So in terms, is this more of a shaping move or, or sort of a, you know, building, a building? A building. Yes. I'm not against the pressing. Yeah. It's great. If you can press behind the neck, a lot of yeah. people can't. They can't get the arm back or yeah. it's too heavy. Yeah. So you want it, I would say moderate weight if you're going to do presses. Okay. I'm not against it. Sets of eight to 10, it's good. Yeah. And I used to do press front and back. I could press here and do the front and alternate back and forth like this. Right. But I found this works a lot better and a lot easier and quicker with less weight. Yes. Because you don't want this shoulders to have Yeah, pain. everyone gets shoulder injury. That's why yeah. I'm struggling. I've got a bit of a shoulder injury. Um, a lot of people I know have shoulder injuries, so I guess right. it's a common. Because they train too heavy. Right. Too much weight. It's, to me, it's all show. I'm not about show. I'm not. They used to laugh at me oh, at the show gym. And okay. They go, oh, you train with the lightweights. You know, how are you going to win the show? I go, I'll see you on stage. Because <laughs> yeah. the judge is not going to ask how much did you lift. No. They no. just want to see what you look like. You're right? right? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Leave the ego at the door. So here we go. Okay. So, okay. All the way in. Can you push back to me? Yes. Short. Exactly. That's perfect. Can you check your wrist when you get tough? Straighten out your wrist, but push back to me, back to me. Yes, 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 yes. Rotate there, non-stop. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Push, yes, two more. It doesn't stop. Back to me, contract. One more. All the way in. Excellent. <laughs> you know, people are gonna laugh, but, so here we go. You know, this builds and shapes and cuts at the same time. It does all of it. Because this is really a press, right? Yeah. And then when you push in, see how much you're stretching that shoulder as you go into the so out, the, the, back the, back, the back of the shoulder. The yeah. Back. yeah, yeah. And then I push back into it. Yeah. Press, rotate. Front. You can feel every part of that shoulder moving. Yeah. Every inch. But controlling it, half press. And why, why do you not press right up? Because when you do that, then it, it takes the really pressure off. Takes the pressure off, yeah. exactly. It's easier to press. <laughs> it's easier to lock out. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. yeah. Don't lock out. Another one's the laterals. You can do some laterals. Come up and turn that wrist a little bit. So you come down and wrist. Now, the, the real way of doing this, they come up like this, but you want to bring your shoulders back and then come to the side for that side delt. Because if you hear, that's your front delt. And I see it all the time. Yeah. Front delt. They don't get the side delts pushing back and then come directly to the side. So yeah, you're kind of squeezing your shoulder blades together. Yes, so, okay. exactly. Right. So you come up and you can turn that wrist a little bit too. As you come up, you turn your wrist forward. It's going to flick that wrist. There. So oh, is this again man. more of a building? Or yes. Yeah? Yes. So you got your shoulder blades. Uh-huh. Arms are straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then to come up. Okay. Straighten out the arms. Straighten out the arm. Very good. Very good. As you come up, you're going to flick that wrist. Yes. Just a little bit of that wrist. You can't even see it. Yes. Wrist. Good. I'm going to pull you back. Let me do it. Straight, straight. Stay straight. And here we go. All the way up. Wrist. 
Come straight down, follow me. Raise the wrist forward. Just flick your wrist. See that little flick? Yes, not the form, just the wrist. Good, come on down. We're in now. We just got it. Here we go. Can you turn your wrist forward? Yes. Turn your wrist forward. Yes. This is what we want. This is it. Good. Three more. Wrists. Control coming down. Where's your tension? Don't drop it. You're in control. Yes. One more. Beautiful. Down. Mm. See the cut, cuts and separation, how quickly. <laughs> Feels good. Right? Yeah. So that little. Another, another lightweight, but. So this, you gotta sit here, back, 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 because otherwise all front delt, I see this all the time. Okay. They think they work at a side delt, but you're not. Right. Here. And it's so much harder to hold that weight back here. Yeah, yeah. And then you come up and you turn that wrist forward. When you do that little wrist, you can feel wrist. it right on the sort of yes. head, yeah. Yes.